Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today we'll see how we can use CSS with HTML to make a web page more interactive to the user. In simple terms, we'll be discussing the basic syntax of using CSS. But before that, want to learn something new? Then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Code. So without any further delay, let's get started. This is in a few minutes. Cascading style sheet or you guys already know the basics of HTML. If you are not aware of HTML basics or JavaScript basics, then you can refer to the HTML playlist we have on our YouTube channel. You can find it in Simply Code's YouTube channel. You will get to learn a lot about HTML if you access that particular playlist. So let's move on to the programming part directly. Here you can see on your screen that we have this VS Code open. So VS Code is an IDE which is free to use and it's quite useful. I basically prefer VS Code over any other IDE. So IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. Now what we need to do is we are we have created a folder here. So this is a this is an empty folder. You can see the name is CSS. Now we have opened this folder with a VS Code. Fine. Any file we are going to create in this particular playlist, we are going to save it in this particular folder only. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to install VS Code. Let me show you some extensions that I have already installed in my computer in this particular PC. So here you can see we have HTML CSS support. We have IntelliSense for you guys if you guys want to install the, this particular extension or if you guys want to leave it. Live server is quite useful. So I'll Suggest you guys to install this particular extension. Live server is of extreme use if you are using HTML and CSS. Now we are going to discuss about CSS syntax. First thing we need to do here is we need to create an HTML file because we need to create the structure of our web page, right? So to create an HTML file, you have to click here on new file and now write it and give it any name. So let's say we are writing over here syntax.html. Fine. So this is a syntax.html. Now we have to write basic HTML code over here. So we'll write it like this. This is a basic HTML code with the body tag, head tag and HTML tag. So let's change the title of this document. We are going to write over here CSS syntax. This is going to be a video. Now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to open it with the help of live server. Right click on your screen and open it with live server. So here you can see if I try to open it with live server, okay, so let me bring my Chrome window to this particular window. Now we need to reduce the size because we are going to do it side by side. And just a minute, let me just reduce the size of this VS code as well. So let me fix it a bit. We are going to put our VS code on the left hand side and we are going to use CSS or we can say we are going to use our browser over here. Fine, so this is our browser. We are going to fix the size of our browser. From next video onwards, you guys think only Chrome and this VS Code only. So from next video onwards, we are going to keep it like this. So here goes our code on the left side on VS Code and here goes our output on the right side. Fine, we are done with it. Now we have this HTML document. What we want to do is we want to add CSS to it, right? So as we have already mentioned that HTML is used to create the structure of a web page. What do we mean by structure? So HTML does this task of include heading to a web page or we can say it includes the task of adding images to a web pages. And that that all sort of task HTML does, right? So HTML is basically used to create the structure of a web page. On the other hand, CSS is used to style those particular elements of HTML. Fine. Let me give you a very simple example of HTML. So here we are going to use the heading tag. Heading tag, I guess you guys are all aware of. This is used to create any heading part or any such sort of thing on a web page. So we are going to write over here, let's say inside heading, what is HTML? Fine. So, okay. Just now what will happen is the moment I save this with control plus S, it's written over here on the browser. This is the benefit of using live server. And this is what HTML generally does. It creates the structure of a web page. Now what we can do with CSS? The question is what we can do with CSS. So 
with CSS, we can style this particular element. So here we have this h1 element and if we want to style this particular what is HTML heading, what we can do is we can use CSS. Fine. So there are certain ways of adding CSS to an HTML document. So there are three ways basically. We'll go through all the three ways in the upcoming video. For now, what we are going to do is we are going to take you through the syntax for CSS only. Fine. So what we'll do is we'll include our CSS here only. So we'll write over here style. Style is an HTML tag. So we can use CSS within this particular tag. Now what we need to do is we need to access this particular what is HTML or we can say this particular heading. Now this particular heading is present inside the tag H1. Fine. So H1 is going to be the selector in our CSS file. So first thing we need to do is we need to access this heading for this for that we are going to use h1 over here now in CSS we need to keep all the properties inside a particular area or we can say inside particular curly braces fine and so let me just show you guys how we generally do it so what we need to do is we need to write over here, we need to create a block for our CSS properties. So these two curly braces, it represents that H1. So the heading H1, all the properties we are going to define for this heading H1 will go inside this particular block. So let's, let me give you a very basic example. We are going to write over here color. Color, let's say we are going to save echo. Fine. So this semicolon over here, you guys are, if you guys are able to see, it divides different properties. Fine. Multiple CSS declarations are separated with semicolons. So we can apply multiple styles to a single element with semicolons only. Fine. So we can use any other property as well. Let's say we are going to write over here font, font size, font size. We are going to define any font size. Let's say larger. These all are the properties. Fine. Color is the property. Font size is the property and aqua and larger. These are the values for these particular properties. These properties and values will define how the text will look like on the browser. Fine. So this is how we can style a web page or we can say style any particular HTML element. Let me tell you what these are. H1 here is the selector in CSS. Fine. Color is a property and aqua is the property value. Similarly, font size is the property and larger is the property value. So let's do one thing. Let's save this program, save it. And here you can see the font size is changed. So let me just keep it to 100. So here you can see it says what is HTML. Fine. The font size is aqua if, if you guys are able to see. It. Let me just change the color to red, let's say. Fine. Save it. And here you can see it says what is HTML. Now. For font size, we are going to change the font size as well. Let's say we are going to write over here 48 pixels. Fine. Save it. And here you can see the font size is 48 pixels now. What else we can do is we can write over here, let's say 60. Save it. So we have to write here 60 pixels. Save it. And here you can see the font size is much larger now. So this is how we can use CSS. This is the basic syntax of using CSS. What we guys are going to need, let me just comment it over here and I'll write over here. One thing we need is, the other thing we need is a property. Fine. And the last thing we are going to need is the property value to make certain changes on a particular HTML document. Fine. These three things are the most important three things in any CSS file or we can say in CSS basically. So here we have this h1 tag, h1 is the selector, then we have color and font size as properties and red and 60 pixels as values. So guys, this is the basic syntax of using CSS. In the upcoming video, we'll go through everything, we'll go through selectors, we'll go through 